What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Sonny Edwards versus Felix Alvarado. What do we think about this fight? This is for Edwards' IBF flyweight title. Let's start with Sonny Edwards. He's coming into this one with a record of 18 wins, no losses, four wins by way of knockout. Let's start right there. Let's get it out the way. He only has four knockouts, so he's not a knockout artist, right? And I think part of that is how he fights, like how his style He's not a guy who's going to look to knock out his opponent. He doesn't really sit down on his punches. So he's not going to win a lot of fights by way of knockout unless it's like that perfectly connected punch and lands at the right spot at the right time. But that does not mean that he does not do a lot of good things inside the ring. And let's start with some of those things. I mean, he has very good footwork, right? Very good timing. He's not a guy you're going to hit cleanly. He's a guy that's going to keep the distance and he's going to fight his fight. And it's that stick and move type of style. Use the jab and get out the way. Use the jab and hook to the body. Use the jab for some quick combinations. Use the jab and duck his head down and shuffle a step aside. Everything is behind the jab, right? He's defensively responsible as well. If he sees that he's in any type of danger, right, he's going to tie you up and then move quickly out of the way. Now, similar contrast I see in this one, right? When he fought for the IBF flyweight title, and I hope I don't butcher his name. I always butcher it whenever I say it. I'm going to say Mytholini, right? Last year, he was older. Yes, right? But he had 39 fights, and 26 of those fights came by way of knockout. So he could pop, right? And Edwards completely neutralized him the whole fight using his feet and his jab. And Mathalane didn't have an answer in Edwards' most recent fight against Muhammad Wasim, who also fought him as well. Edwards fought Wasim with confidence. He fought Wasim with aggression and landed some pretty big shots against him. And he easily won that fight, in my opinion. So while he lacks power, he doesn't lack the skill, doesn't lack the IQ, doesn't lack the speed, and doesn't lack the accuracy. We've seen him take out guys who have high knockouts on their resume. So for me, him not having a lot of knockouts doesn't really bother me with him because he can do so many other good things inside the ring and often neutralizes his opponent's so strength. So let's touch on his opponent, Felix Elvardo, right? 38 wins, two losses, 33 wins by way of knockout. Alvaro knocks people out. That's what he does. And you know what else he does? He is a pressure fighter and he comes forward every single round. I mean, this guy is relentless, right? He's going to come forward. He's going to let his hands go regardless if he lands his shots or not, right? He's going to try to outwork you and he is going to outwork you with every single thing that is in front of him. He may not even hit you cleanly, but best believe he's going to try to hit something. When he closes the gap, he's a good combination puncher and he gets closer and lands the body shots and the uppercuts and the head shots. He's going to hit you wherever he can. And he's also not afraid to trade shots with you. If he can get a couple shots of his own, he's going to be right there in the pocket. And if he gets hit, it's okay. But let me get off four or five of my shots and we can see who's going to stand toes and we can see who is going to be the guy who stands right here and keeps coming forward. This is the type of style that he has. And in order to be this aggressive and throw this many punches, your conditioning has to be at a very high level. And his conditioning is at a very high level. And he trusts himself and trusts his skills. Right, He's looking to catch you cleanly a few times after he breaks you down round to round. All it takes is one shot, but he knows he has to put forth those shots and slowly bite his time. He isn't the most technically sound guy, but he is definitely a relentless guy, and that's part of his style, and that's part of how he's won his fights. He outworks you. So who wins? It's going to be very interesting to see how Edwards handles all the pressure. He moves around a lot already in the ring when he doesn't fight a pressure fighter. So what will this look like? Alvaro is going to do what he does best, and that's bring the pressure and let his hands go. But if he can't hit Sonny, what does he do if he gets frustrated? 
What will happen if he starts to fight emotionally? And then the other thought is, what if he lands clean and drops Edwards? Can Edwards get up and handle the onslaught? Can Edwards handle the relentless pressure and aggression of Alvaro every single round? It's questions that we are all going to have the answers to this weekend. So who wins? I'm taking Sonny Edwards by decision. He's going to use the jab. He's going to use his feet and does what he does. And I think he will be able to outlast the pressure of Alvaro while catching him coming in and moving his feet and getting out of the way. We've seen Suddy Edwards fight guys who have big knockouts and he has completely neutralized them. And I think this fight will be more of the same, in my opinion. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly greatly appreciated. Also, big shout out to everyone that has donated to the channel in some form. I really, really appreciate it. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my social media handles on screen as well. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this time, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.